Okay, so this audio is going to sound slightly different to usual because I cannot find the SD card that my microphone can read anywhere. I've just spent about an hour looking for it, so I'm really sorry if this audio is bad, it is on my phone. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel, I am Lucy Moon and today, well, as you remember, maybe, about two or three weeks ago, I showed you my autumn capsule wardrobe and how I was like rejigging it, sorting it all out, don't know if we can still qualify it as a capsule, but you know, committed to the 30 wear rule, committed to slowing down my buying. But if you remember, I started with not much stuff and not much usable stuff at the beginning of my capsule wardrobe journey. So I'm really noticing now, while I've completely got my tops and my bottoms sorted now pretty much, and like my general overall clothes, things like coats, shoes and bags are like, not it they're not it. So it's been really interesting. I feel like I'm filling in missing pieces in this wardrobe and then occasionally getting something that I'm like, oh, this is cute. But like, for example, dressy tops, I have like one. So like, spice in it, you know? I'm like, pièce de résistance so my shit. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe because I love having you and I'd love you to stick around and watch my wardrobe journey. Also, I got this lovely mug locally. It's so cute. I'm such a fan. It's got coffee in it today. I have like low level dread anxiety. I don't know if you ever get that. Like normally my anxiety is quite high level and I'm feeling it really physically. But today it's just sitting at the pit of my stomach. No physical response, just this feeling of dread. Anyway, uh, that's nice and cheery. It's Halloween today. So I'm going to take you through just the little bits that I got for my autumn wardrobe. I got a couple more things than I was expecting to, but again, I think I've had this coats and bags and shoes crisis. Also, my favourite bag broke that I bought last year on ASOS for £18. In fairness, what did I expect? <laughs> Just before we jump into it, this uh, coffee is made with pea milk, which I'm using at the moment. It's by Sproud, I think is the brand. I am loving it. They do a barista pea milk. I can drink it. I'd imagine it's more sustainable than almond milk because peas are peas, you know? So... I'm really optimistic about it. With all this in mind, I feel like I'm rambling. Let me show you what I've purchased. So I bought this skirt from And Other Stories maybe a month ago or two, and then I got it taken in at the waist um, and darted at the front, I think as well, which you might be able to see. It now has two darts, but yeah, it's this amazing, like, I think it's hands tooth, this print. I'm not 100%, correct me if I'm wrong, people who understand fashion. It is such a good fit. I think I'm gonna wear it tonight, actually. I'm going to see Charlie XDX. I think maybe I'll incorporate it into my angel costume. It's nice and short, just does the job, looks great. I think this is important to mention. It's also got a really nice lining. I think if it hadn't come with such a good lining, I'd maybe have returned it because it was quite expensive. And then having to have it taken in as well, just because that's the way my body works is a lot of money. It is really nice on the skin. It doesn't rub, it doesn't ride up. It's like, as in like, it doesn't ride up relative to the outer layer. It's just a good lining. I'm really happy with the lining and it just makes it so much more comfy because this against your skin would be like. I had a bit of a like bottoms and trousers moment because I realized I basically lived in my jeans last year. Love my jeans for autumn, but I like to have trousers as well. Obviously trousers are notoriously hard to find for me and my shape, so if I can share as well what I've got and what I found and how I worked it to fit me, hopefully I can help some of you as well. So moving on to more bottoms. These are some amazing trousers I bought. I bought my second pair of Stealth trousers. I don't even know if that's how you say their name. Anyway, Stealth is one of my favorite brands. They're um, a s small owned, no, what's the word for that? I think a female owned business. Um, based in Lincolnshire, if I'm correct. And they make these amazing um, linen garments. And th this is a set of trousers, a set of trousers? A pair of trousers um, that you might have seen a similar shape on me before because I own their heavyweight linen a pair of navy trousers. I bought them two years ago and I have lived in them. They are the, the best trousers I own, I adore them. So when I saw they were bringing out a lighter weight linen um, in different colours as well, I saw this like mushroom, I think it's like a mushroomy olivey colour and just went, yes, count me in. I was really looking for a beige on my mini, on my beige scale to <laughs> incorporate some cooler tones because I have a lot of grey and cooler toned items and they can be a little bit harder to wear with my warmer beiges. So this is a nice cool beige. I love these trousers, they're amazing. 
if you're looking for a pair of trousers to fit your waist and your hips and to be super comfy but also be able to be dressed up and down i couldn't recommend stealth enough they are exceptional i bought the first pair of trousers i think they were like 80 70 or 80 pounds i bought them uh when i was not spending that much money on clothes at all you know i was quite wary of spending that much money but it was the best value i've spent like on maybe any item of clothing in my wardrobe so i ordered some of the curve fit from everlane trousers i decided against trying their skinny jeans because i've got enough jeans you know but i thought you know what i'll try a pair of trousers in case they fit so they have redesigned well created a new cut <laughs> of some of their classic items uh, to fit smaller waists and bigger hips and I tried the, I actually can't remember what this style of trouser is called. It's basically a skinny leg trouser. I got a very fine houndstooth. If this isn't houndstooth, I'm an idiot. But um, this very fine uh, print and they fit. They fit so well. I made an Instagram story when I first tried them on because I couldn't believe that I bought a pair of trousers straight out, let like off the bat, no adjustments, nothing. And they fit my waist and my hips great. I still love them. They're like, for me, like skinny trousers is quite like a challenge, but in like a really cool way. Like sometimes you do just want skinny stuff. So they're really good fun and they're so comfy, so easy to wear. I can sit down at my desk and work in them all day or I can go out and about. Huge, huge fan that you do them up with this zip here, which is quite like bold. I think if I'd rather have a concealed zip on a pair of trousers like this and they've got a button as well. Ooh, just so you know, I bought a size 10 and I got the longer leg um, and I'm 5'7 and they hit just like kind of that really nice like, ankle grazy level, but still quite, you know, like a good long ankle graze. So I'd say if you're 5'6 or 7, go longer. When I did that Everlane order, I thought, well, I really, really want some more kind of thermal basics. What are they called? Like base layers, because I currently have a lot of really high neck ones love them uniqlo is amazing i got a really good one that was like 5.99 from zara a couple of years ago and i still wear that as well it's just like a really nice soft turtleneck so if you're looking for nice base layers maybe check out zara but also if you would rather invest in something a little bit higher quality and better for the environment i bought two base layers off everlane i bought this one um in the waffle knit which is currently inside out because it's been in the wash and i bought another one in the extra fine rib that I can't remember the name of in the kind of like slightly off black charcoal color. So this waffle top is amazing. Like I genuinely, I love it. I love this little cross detailing at the front. I think they also do this one in a button down to here uh, style, which I love and I really regret not buying. Yeah, I, I adore this. It's a great basic. I think it came to like $27 or 27 pounds. It's affordable, you know, it's it's not not cheap, but it's not breaking the bank. If you're looking for some best quality base layers, I would really recommend these Everlane ones. Also, Uniqlo Heat Tech, always reliable, always good. So, I was on the look for a corduroy shirt. I saw them all over Instagram. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. And then someone tweeted me when I tweeted about my struggles and they said, why don't you look second hand? In most vintage shops, they have so many corduroy shirts. And I was like, oh, light bulb moment. Obviously, why didn't I think of that? So I bought, I went into one vintage shop and it was like the first one I saw and I bought it and it was in Rocket in Covent Garden. I have to say there is no label on this, which suggests to me they picked it off because it's actually a really cheap brand. It really doesn't feel very good quality. And also there is a rip in one of the sleeves. Here it is. There's like a huge hole in this sleeve. And that's really disappointing because I paid 25 pounds and I knew at the time I was like, Luce, don't pay 25 pounds for this. But I did it and you know what? Someone profited, but at least it's second hand. And yeah, it's a great, great shirt. I wore it all the time in LA. I did an Instagram post about it because I just wore it so, so much. Um, it's nice and oversized. It must be like a men's fit. And I think also I could do it up and wear it as a dress if I wanted to with tights. Yeah, it's just a, a basic again I just wanted more layers I'm not very good at layering it wasn't something my parents ever really did <laughs> like I always think I learned so much about how I get dressed from my parents and like they are literally so formulaic it's like base layer like t-shirt or top then a jumper then a jacket which obviously makes sense in most circumstances but it doesn't make it very creative so I'm learning speaking of layering let's talk about this jumper I adore this jumper 
<laughs> like how I went like, ooh. I love this jumper so much. The kind people at Arquette sent it to me. You may say, Lucy, you already have one very large oversized jumper that's woolen. Why would you want a second? I noticed how much wear I get out of an oversized jumper and I quite like to be able to alternate it with another one. So here we are. This is our guy. It's just the best color, so nice and warm. It's a little bit itchy, but not like on the scale of naught to itch. It's like here, like it's, it would be, if you had like psoriasis, I wouldn't get it or I'd wear it with a base layer, but I have eczema and I'm fine. <laughs> so that's the review folks. But yeah, it's so nice and soft, nice and oversized as you can see. It's got these lovely little like roll detail on the sleeves, which I absolutely love and on the bottom. It's quite a thin fit. So it's a like more narrow fit than my other jumper, which is quite wide, but I quite like it. It's just different. Also new that's on my body right now. These glasses, they're from Ace and Tate. My prescription has gone up, not significantly, but I have astigmatism in this eye now. So I've been viewing stuff wrong for a really long time and yeah, I'm much happier now I can see again. I've been having a bit of a bit of a mission trying to get used to them. But yeah, I'll link whatever the um, frame is in the description. But yeah, they are prescription. I do look a bit like my aunts while I wear these, but it's for a good cause and the good cause is my vision. Okay, let's move on to the slightly more exciting pieces. So Arquette also sent me an absolutely amazing, um, they call it a loungewear set, but I wouldn't necessarily wear it as loungewear. Also, it's been hung up for a little while and packed and unpacked from my suitcase in LA, so please excuse uh, the creasing. But they sent me a set of um, some silk trousers and an oversized silk shirt, which I am so planning on wearing as like an autumn slash Christmas party suit. Obviously it's silk and it's got this like subtle, subtle leopard print on it. You probably can't see it on this because of the contrasting, but it is such a nice little print. You might see it if I turn it slightly. But yeah, just so you know, it comes massively oversized. I ordered a medium in both and I had to go and exchange them for a small because uh, yeah, this, this shirt is just incredible. But yeah, it was all slightly too big for me. It's just a little bit witchy and I love it. Okay, finally, we have two items that I ordered the other day because I'm trying to fill some holes, as I was explaining earlier, in the wardrobe. And I'm undecided on whether I'm gonna keep, but I thought I should show it anyway, just, you know, in case I do. So the first one is this coat from Whistles, which as you can see is, I'd say an emerald color. I've been absolutely, I don't know why, I've just been moved to buy an emerald fur coat. It's all I've been thinking about for like a month. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, this emerald coat with this black, or like kind of like browny black, but also muted green leopard print on it. It looks great. It looks it like changes in the light. Oh, I'm such, such a fan of this. The problem is though, like I love whistles, but this is like 250 pounds. And while I really, really want a dressy coat that's like stands out and I can wear just like white and black items with or, or beige, I'm also a bit stressed in the sense that like, this is it, you know, I don't really want to buy another dressy coat. Maybe one, but like, the, oh, I just love it. It's just like, like imagine I can go to any Christmas party in this and I'm already dressed up. I really love it, but also is it a sensible buy? Sometimes do I need to get rid of my worry about being sensible all the time? I don't know. These are questions that maybe you can answer in the comments. But yeah, I'm a really big fan of this coat. Oh my God, what have I done? Okay, right, final item. Okay, the final item is a pair of shoes. I recently bought uh, some Adidas Magmas. They are amazing. I say recently, in summer. I get so much wear out of them, like so, so, so much. And I'm kind of trying to work out how to not just wear one pair of trainers over and over and over. So I also have those Converse I bought in summer, amazing. I'm just still mourning my uh, 97s falling apart. So I'm trying to find a neutral, like two neutral replacements on these like chunkier trainer thing, like on that. Spectrum, so I've got one, the Magmas are amazing, but then I really should be like alternating them with one because they're, they're basically what I wear like every day. I picked these up, but I think you'll probably know why I'm skeptical about them. Okay, I believe these are the provenance feelers. I've just checked the side of the box. I'm not 100%. As you might be able to see, they are beige. I'm worried this is too much beige in my wardrobe at this point, and I need to put myself on a beige ban. I love these laces. These laces are such a selling point for me as is like the detailing, like the embroidery across the side. I really love that. 
Um, obviously, I love a stone colour as well, but this, like, the little, little things are what's really sold me on these. A beige trainer in itself would not have convinced me, but there's just, like, a bit of extra oomph that I really love. Oh, I love this bit at the back as well. Are you going to hang your trainer? I don't know. I just really, really love them, but is it too much? Do I need them? Am I being an idiot? I really don't have anything that sits lonely in my wardrobe, but occasionally I do. Everyone messes up and makes dumb purchases. So it's like, mm, do I keep them? Do I just be reckless or do I be sensible? Whilst I don't know if you can see, I'm not gonna try these on for the camera, but can you see how cool these laces and the little details are? Like I do think they're just cool, you know? But how, how to decide? Those are my purchases for autumn. My bag broke randomly this week, so I probably will get another bag as well. But beyond that, that's what I've bought. That should see me through pretty well. I think maybe I'll pick up one or two things for winter, but probably not much. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know uh, whether I should keep this amazing emerald coat. And, or if you have an alternative that's not 250 pounds, I'm in, you know? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.